In this video, we're going to use the area model that we're familiar with related to multiplication and division, this idea of 3 times 8 uh, equals 24, like in the rectangle races game, for example. We're using these area models as another way for us to envision or visualize what's really happening when we're doing our traditional division algorithm, and for us to be able to, again, wrap our brain around dividing decimals with another concrete visual example. I really like this question in particular. Look at the area model. Complete the division equation to match the area model. So 24.6 or 24 and 6 tenths. We have 24 whole here, 6 tenths here, and it says divided by what? Obviously, our answer here is 3 equals 8.2. So I like that we can see that 24 divided by 3 is 8. So that's that first part. We have the 8 being the answer. The second, the 0. 0.6 over here, divided by 3 is 0. 0.2. And together, 8 and 0. 0.2 make 8.2. Another visual way of looking at it. This one isn't quite so pretty. Uh, but it's the same concept. Look at the area model, complete the division equation to match the area model. You'll notice the question has 49.8 as the dividend. Uh, again, we're looking for the divisor equals 8.3. But even though it's 49.8 here, they've recognized that that can't easily be divided by 6. So they've changed 49.8 into two different pieces. If we were doing the traditional algorithm, we'd sort of have some left over, we'd bring some down, and we'd resolve that. In fact, I'll show you that quickly over here. 49.8 divided by 6. How many times can it take 6 out of 49? Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. 8 times 6 is 48. Oops, 48 minus equals 1. Decimal there. Bring down the 8. How many times can it take 6 out of 18? 3, 3 times 6 is 18, minus equals 0. So we had a little bit of messing about here. But they've tried to make that visual over in this part. So just like we did over here, we divide the 48 first. And we've said we can take uh, 8 out or 6 out 8 times. Then we looked at what was 18 in our traditional algorithm, or really 1.8, one whole, and the 8 left over tenths. And the answer is the 0.3. And so our answer up here, 8.3, we see there. And the number wants us to stick in. The divisor is the 6. Just another way of looking at the division, making it concrete. This time, it wants us to complete the division equation, but we're missing the dividend. So we can look at the area model and see that their divisor is 7. Our answer is 2.8. So our dividend is the combination of these two numbers, which... 14 plus 5.6, remember the decimals there, 0.6, 5 plus 14 is 19. So our answer is 19.6, but I like the visual the best. They've broken it up into the two parts like you would in the division algorithm, and we see the 14 divided by 7 is 2, the remaining 5.6 divided by 7 is 0.8, and that gives us our answer. In this last example, uh, again, we're looking for the dividend. We have our divisor and we have our answer. So in order to find that dividend, I just took uh, the numbers in the area model, added them together, and it gave me my total dividend. Oops, I forgot to put decimal there. Very important. Um, but I wanted to visualize for you. Over here, I did the traditional algorithm with this dividend, 70.48. Sorry, I should write that in there. 70.48 divided by 8 equals 8.81. So we see that we end up actually doing 64 divided by 8 right here. Then again, 64, which is 6.4 divided by 8 there. And finally, the 8 divided by 8 is the 1. So you see the connections between this model and the algorithm just making it visual. Okay, that's it for this section. Good luck.